Consecration. First off, let me just say it's getting very difficult to find a good horror movie these days. I had to just take what I could get, and that's how I ended up watching Consecration. First impression, it looks like a ripoff of The Nun. There are a lot of similar elements, but whatever. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, so look at this scene. I kept on getting jumpy at the sight of this coat. This was a horrible setup. They should have just made that coat brown. Like a light brown or a beige, maybe even a tan. There are just as many brown coats in the world as black ones. So the movie starts off with this woman who gets word from a convent of nuns that her brother has passed on. When she arrives at the church, the head nun, Mother Superior, starts saying some cryptic stuff. Come to find out her brother was fighting some demons before he offed himself allegedly. So we are barely 20 minutes in at this point and she's been fainting, having visions, seeing ghosts, all that good stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, I like that. Now there's a scene about her and her brother's backstory and it is bad. Like Bruce Wayne bad. It's worse than watching your parents get offed right in front of you. They keep bringing up the word consecration, so finally I decided to look it up. Apparently these nuns and the priests were doing some bad stuff. Turns out they are not as they seem. After a few more visions, our main character Grace finds out she's like some ancient relic or something like that. Let's just say you would not want to step on her all-white forces. The nuns and the priests try to lock her in a tomb forever. Fun fact, apparently she was already in this tomb for centuries, but she says no thank you and proceeds to go out on her own terms. But that's not really it. We find out she's a time traveler. She can become invisible. And she was there for every single thing. Yes, everything. Even her brother's untimely demise. Wow, what a twist. This movie was actually crazy. A lot better than Hellraiser. At least Consecration tied everything up in a way I could sort of understand. If I would have known this was a time travel movie, I would not have watched it, but it is what it is. After all this goes down, our main character Grace just goes back to her everyday life. Only now that she is aware of what she is, she uses her powers for good. Yeah, not so much. Because she has one more interaction with Mother Superior, and it's anything but good. I don't really understand why they ended the movie at the beginning, but that's horror movie logic for you.